Hello my fellow admins and welcome to another episode of Jira Guides. Void.admin here and in this video I'll show you how to create and manage Jira dashboards, how you can share them and many more useful stuff. So uh, let's start. So today I want to start by showing you how you can create a dashboard and how you can add gadgets uh, inside that dashboard. But before I uh, start, I want to show you like how it's uh, like the default dashboard that you have. So basically you can see here in the, on the screen that uh, this is basically uh, the system dashboard, like the default dashboard that is given to you by, by Jira when you start using uh, Jira or you're just uh, first uh, logged in uh, to Jira and you don't have any dashboards configured for, uh, for your account. So basically you have here like three panels, the introduction one, you have the assign to me tickets. So basically this is a panel where you can see all your tickets uh, based on key summary and priority. And uh, basically these are assigned to, to you or like the current, current user. And the next one is the activity stream that it's like basically all the stream activity, not only by, for yourself, but also for uh, other colleagues that are using the same Jira as you uh, are using here. So uh, basically uh, I'm going to start with how you can create a dashboard. So uh, in this system dashboard, or even if you already have a configured dashboard, you have these uh, three dots here where you can click and here you will find this uh, option create a dashboard so you, we can click on this and uh, this is like the first uh, uh, step here so in this uh, new window we have create new dashboard and we need to, need to give it a name and uh, let's give it uh, for this video youtube name you can add also a description you can start for the system dashboard that you already saw or you can have a blank dashboard that you can configure yourself I'll go with a blank dashboard that I, uh, because I want to show some gadgets that are super useful for any agile methodology. I don't know if, if you are a Jira user, a Jira administrator, like a PM or a PO, uh, this, uh, these gadgets are like a must for you in order to, um, to see the work on your project or projects. So uh, the next section is the like the viewers it, because it's not shared. It uh, shows that it's not shared with ad, any other users, but you can share it and you can also add viewers or you can also add editors like uh, whoever can uh, manage your uh, dashboards. Um, I don't know, maybe the project lead or uh, other project manager or other project PO uh, <clears throat> from uh, from your project. So uh, I will not uh, go in into this as this I will show like in, a, in the next step here, but I will just add this new dashboard with only the name and the blank dashboard. So whenever you are, you are pressing the add button, uh, this is basically like your uh, dashboard that was created with the name that appears here. And basically this is like the blank because we choose the blank dashboard. So now we have here, you can uh, choose this hyperlink to add a new gadget, or you can press this button here uh, on the right side. And now uh, we are going to press uh, add gadget. So here uh, on this window, we, uh, we want to add the gadgets, but we don't see all the gadgets. We, we, we have like two here and two on Jira and we have this message more gadgets available uh, and we need to click on load all gadgets in order to see all the gadgets that can be used for for this dashboard. So we click on uh, all gadgets and now we can see that we have 31 uh, instead of two, right? So. Uh, uh, I want to start with the first gadget that it's, I think it's a must, like it's something that uh, you can also manage, uh, not only adding by the gadget, but you can also edit what it's been shown in that gadget and that gadget is uh, uh, filter results. So uh, you need to search by filter results in this search box. So you can also type it here, filter results, uh, and it will show here or you can scroll down and you can find it here. So uh, in this uh, filter results, uh, we need to press add gadget and it will be uh, added in the uh, dashboard screen here and we can close this uh, window here and this uh, because we want to add only this gadget. So here we need a filter, right? Because uh, filter results is based on filter. So it's the same as you saw in the system dashboard assigned to me, uh, but it's based on a filter that you, uh, you, you are given to this, uh, to this filter results gadget. So now we need a, a sales filter. So uh, let me show you how you can uh, uh, create your own filter in order to use this filter for, uh, for this uh, 
for this uh, gadget in the dashboard. So now I'm going to show you like how you can create this uh, filter to be used in the dashboard. So we are going to start with the simple JQL. So uh, let's say that we start uh, with the JQL based on two projects. So let's say that you are working on two projects. So you want to see all the issues inside that project. So you want to monitor that. So a project in, uh, let's go with uh, Scrum base and let's as add also uh, Canva base. These are the two projects that I have on this local Jira. And let's add uh, current uh, assignee to be the current user. Okay, and now let's uh, remove some of the, uh, how it's called, some of the um, issue types to have only uh, issue type in, uh, let's say that we work only with epics, uh, with uh, stories and with uh, subtask and tasks, right? Let's say like a, a, a use case here where we, we don't use like all the uh, all the issue types from uh, from these two projects like we are working only with these ones so let's uh, search by it and we can see that we have like five um, five uh, issue types here we don't have any issue types from the counter base we only have from the scrum base so now uh, we need to save this filter like we created the filter for the, the for the gadget and now we need to save it right so we have this button here save us so we click on save us and now we just need to give a name so let's say uh, let's say like YouTube we can give it the name of YouTube and we just submit it and now we uh, we have this uh, this filter saved and we can use it in the in the dashboard in the gadget of this dashboard of this dashboard so we have the YouTube filter saved and we need to give a number of results here uh, I usually go with by like a number from 10 to 15. I think like uh, more than 15 is not so nice to be shown in the in the dashboard that uh, as you have more gadgets than like one or two and can be super cloudy uh, and you don't know where to go right and uh, uh, and I think 10 or 15 is uh, is better right so columns to display basically these are the columns uh, you saw in the assign to me uh, section you had uh, the issue type, you had uh, how it's called, uh, the issue key, uh, the summary and the priority, right? Basically, these are the uh, columns that are shown here. But uh, I also um, like to add here the status because it's super important to have the status displayed here. And I also like the sprint. And I'll show you why I like the sprint also to be shown as a column here. But I, I, I'm just... Uh, 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 giving you like an, an example of how you can uh, add this uh, gadget here. So here you have also the auto refresh that will update every 15 minutes and uh, we just click on this button save. And now you can see that we have created like a, a gadget here that is shown in this dashboard. So we have like uh, five uh, issue types here shown in this uh, filter results YouTube based on that filter that we created here and uh, uh, we have the columns that we choose here so you can see this is a super nice visualization to see the status of every uh, of every issue types and also the priority but uh, i was uh, saying that uh, i usually use sprint because as you can see here in this uh, example i have like uh, three tasks that are in the uh, in the current sprint like in the sprint one but we have one task that is for sprint uh, two, so is the next sprint. So usually you don't want to work on a, on a task that you, that it's in, in in the next sprint, right? You have you need to have like the uh, the issue types that are um, that are on the uh, sprint that it's running, right? So you don't need to work on this one. So that's why I want to uh, use usually the column of sprint because it's super useful. So a second gadget that I uh, also like to use and it's uh, super useful for any Jira user is the pie chart, uh, pie chart gadget. So uh, if we uh, type here in the search pie, we have this pie chart. So this is super useful to see what is going on in the project or I don't know, like in the issue, in the filter that you created based on, I don't know, maybe your user or uh, or your uh, or some issue types from your project so uh, we can go ahead and add the gadget in the dashboard you can also move it as you can see I can move it 
uh, in this place in order to have like a, a nice uh, layout of this dashboard. So now I'll, I'll just I will just use the same uh, the same filter that I created previously, and uh, I'll go by advanced search here as we need to to find the filter, and we have like here in the fav favorites, and we click on this filter YouTube as this was a filter that was used in the previous uh, gadget, and now uh, we can give like a static type or uh, um, basically these are like fields inside the inside your project that you can uh, look for so uh, i will use for this pie chart something that is uh, super useful as priority so you can see uh, like the pie chart with the priority that are, are used in this uh, in this filter so you can see how many issues have like for example like highest priority and you need to or blocker priority and you need to work on those asap so um this is super useful so we can click save now and we can see here like the pie chart uh, of YouTube we have like total issues like five and we have uh, one uh, here is like we have like a small number of uh, issue types so 20% uh, of these issue types are highest so we have only one but this is like a super useful uh, gadget because if we click on this highest it goes to the filter but it's um getting from your filter that you have used for that gadget and as the priority highest and you can see all the uh the issue types that are uh, that are um, with highest priority in order to see uh, on what you need to work asap right so we can go back now and this works for every priority here if we click it goes into and adding in uh and adding after your uh your base filter it, it will add the priority high so this is basically how it look uh, how it's how it's working so this is like the second gadget that i'll i'll use regularly so uh, this is super useful for any jira user because like all of us uh, we are working with uh, with jira we have some uh, issue types assigned to us or in our team so this is a nice visualization for for anyone that is using jira so the last the last uh, gadget that I want to show uh, that could be useful uh, for anyone like I, I find this uh, the specific one I don't know like for everyone that is trying to see what the uh, the state of the issue types inside the project are so uh, basically this gadget is um, uh, let me find it in this list uh, is the issue statistics. So you can see here in this issue statistics, I'll go uh, one by one. So uh, we need to add a filter again. So we have this advanced search. So we can click on YouTube to, to use the same, uh, the same filter that we had uh, previously. So we have here the st uh, statistic type. So uh, I will use assignee because it's super useful for anyone that is working with multiple person in the in the team right so for example like it doesn't matter you can be a pro project owner and you can use this uh, issue statistics in order to see how many issues are based on uh, assignee uh, the assignees that are working on uh, on that project so you can see whoever has more than a uh, particular number of uh, issue types assigned to them so we can uh, sort by natural um, sending and this doesn't matter we can update every five, 15 minutes and this is super useful and you do not need to refresh the page so if we can save it we can see here uh, that this filter has only one assignee because the filter is uh, assignee by current user but let's delete this and let's use um, and assignee uh, is not empty right so we can get like multiple assignees that are working on this uh, on these projects so now uh, let me save this so i don't uh, forget about this so now if i'm refreshing you'll see that the void test is like a second uh, uh, user that is working it's, it's me right <laughs> but this is like uh, for for uh, for this example of uh, this particular video so here you can see that uh, for this uh, filter in these projects we have two assignees but the first assignee has a count of five issue types so uh, even if you are, uh, are you are working as developer and maybe you you see that your colleague has 
uh, more um, tickets on their plate so maybe you have uh, le uh, capacity left and you can say to them okay can you give me uh, one of your tickets so you, you are not so full with uh, with work in uh, in this sprint so you can also uh, split them up like I like I usually do and this is super useful like this issue statistics and also uh, you can change this like every uh, gadget can be changed after after you create it you have these uh, three dots here on every uh, panel of the gadget so if you click on this you have edit button and now you can uh, change the statistic type you can also go by the uh, priority as you have here in the pie chart and you can see how many tickets are with high priority it's basically the same but it's uh, another visual visualization so besides this visualization you can also uh, share the dashboard right so uh, if you go and click on three dots uh, here you have this uh, option share dashboard so you can share your dashboard with other people from your project so you can also add the viewers or editors or of course if you want more editor, editors than yourself that you who created like the dashboard so you can choose here the viewers you can select a group from uh, from your uh, uh, jira from your jira how you called uh, jira environment you can also choose the project so you can choose uh, all the all the uh, the roles from uh, from from scrum base you can add this and also you can use from because you are using like a filter based on multiple projects you can also use the other project and all the project roles from that particular project so you can see here who are the viewers and maybe you also want the editors to be uh, from project uh, Kanban base, uh, Kanban base, but let's say that you all, uh, only want the project manager to be an, uh, a role that can edit this dashboard and also uh, from Scrum base uh, project, you can also say that you want the project manager to be the one that can edit this dashboard and he can or she can add multiple gadgets inside this uh, this uh, this dashboard and basically it will, they will have the permissions that you also have uh, the one that you created the dashboard so you can update update now so this is how you share the uh, the dashboard with other people inside your jira environment so uh, this was it from uh, from my uh, from my side regarding this uh, particular video on how you can create a dashboard and how you can manage this dashboard uh, adding gadgets and uh, yeah it, basically that was it if you have any questions uh, don't uh, don't be shy and add them in the comment section of this video and also you can find me on the on the discord channel it will be linked uh, below this video also you can ask uh, me there some questions i don't know regarding jira regarding script runner i also have guides on the on this channel regarding script runner and uh, you can also find me on github i have uh, multiple templates there that you can use uh, regarding customization or automation in jira and that was it so thank you so much for being here with me in this another uh, awesome uh, episode of uh, jira guides so uh, i shall see you in the next video peace